hello guys and welcome back so now before working on the garage first of all we need to add uh, other cars for player okay because as you know in garage there will be more than one vehicle for the player to select from okay so let's add another one if you click on game then car and in here you can select whatever car you want okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one and let me put it right there let's rotate it on 90 okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it like this in here in this car okay and then make sure that the tires are aligned correctly like this okay once you do that click on prefab unpack completely okay and from this car remove the tires okay these tires just simply delete them and let's name this as body okay and once you do that you can now duplicate this car one select uh, this duplicate car change its name to car 2 okay then select car 2 and hold down the control button and select the body okay and move this to right here okay let's set them for example on the seventh position right here okay once you do this open up car 2 and from the car 2 delete the body and once you delete the body then drag and drop this body in there okay so now once you do that now we need to set up the tires for this car so if we select the front uh, uh, wheel model and the front uh, wheel collider okay these two let's move it in right here okay let me turn off the gizmos so that i can see this tire Okay, let me actually press Ctrl Z and select the front right and front right collider as well. Okay, so that these two are aligned correctly. Okay, so I'm going to leave this right here. Okay, we don't need to move it down. Just need to check the sides for this one as well. As you can see, this one is a little bit inside the right side so I'm gonna select the tire and collider and let me actually check it out from this side from this side it is good from this one I'm gonna move it a little bit outside okay and now let's select the back left and back left collider back right and back right tire and collider as well and let's see this one so I'm gonna move this a little bit right here okay and let's check the sides okay let's check this one okay we need to select the right tire and right collider and move it a little bit outside like this okay and once you do that uh, click on car 2 and as you can see it needs the center of mass so we just gonna drag and drop the body it needs the brake lights so if I click on this as you can see these are the brake lights so let me name this as brake lights click on car 2 and drag and drop this big uh, lights in both of these uh, references okay and once you do that after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the car one and click on camera and drag and drop car two in there so that the car targeted is changed to this car okay and then if we let me actually select the car let's open up the car controller script okay and right here let me for now make the volume as zero okay because I don't want any disturbance while recording this video and you know that the car sounds works perfectly fine okay so 
I'm gonna just simply start the game. All right, <laughs> let me stop it. And let's actually make the volume zero from here as well. Okay, and the reason the car bounce is because on the body we didn't add the mesh collider okay so select all the body parts of this car okay and click on uh, add component add mesh collider make it convex and if you turn on gizmos as you can see it is now convex okay so now let's start the game again okay as you can see we have the car, we have the steering. But if you notice, there is a little bit of uh, this uh, stopping in the car. When the car is moving, as you know, there is a little bit this jerky movement. And now, in order to remove that uh, movement, okay, what we will be doing now is as you know that uh, uh, for each car we will be adding different cameras okay so let me now open up this car one as well i mean reactivate it and as you know we have this camera so i'm going to duplicate this add the first camera in car one and add the second camera in car two okay let's open up car one click on its camera and drag and drop car one in there then select car two and actually select car 2 camera and drag and drop car 2 in there okay and then we can deactivate car 1 and leave car 2 as it is and then when we play the game you will notice that now we don't have that jerky kind of movement okay as you can see So now with that fixed what we're gonna do now is we need to disable this audio source because we are still listening to the engine sound okay so now the engine sound is gone okay so for now just disable this audio source okay now you know how to add cars for uh, the player we added two cars now let's add a third one so that you guys know how you can add cars okay let's add this uh, bugatti this time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate car one again name this as car three okay let's move it down and then i'm gonna move this one right here and the reason it is showing this now right here instead of here on the car is because uh, it is uh, we have um, uh, the camera in here okay so that is the reason why anyways let's set this up on this part okay then let me turn off the gizmos for now and you can select whatever car you want to add so i'm gonna add the bugatti as i told you okay so now rotate it then let's move it in here inside the car body let's check the tires okay now we can click on prefab unpack completely then we delete the tires and then from car 3 delete the body name this as body drag and drop it inside car 3 make sure to move it up okay now we need to set up the tires so open up the models and colliders select the front tires 
like this with the colliders and let's see I think they are aligned perfectly okay let's check the other side okay this side is a little bit outside so I'm gonna select the tire and the collider and move it a little bit inside like that okay now let's check the back tires okay select the back colliders and back tires let's move it a little bit right here okay and then let's check this side okay we need to move it inside like that okay then let's open up the body select the back uh, lights name it as back lights click on car 3 drag and drop the back tires in here and we need to add the center of mass so drag and drop the body in there and that is pretty much it make sure to disable the audio source and then select camera and drag and drop car 3 in there okay this is pretty much it now we can disable the first two cars leave this one as it is and let's play the game all right we forgot to add the mesh collider on the body okay so make sure that you add mesh collider and make it convex okay and then after this we are now ready to start the game and here is the car as you can see the car moves moves smoothly there is a smoke effect and the tires effect and you can notice the steering it works perfectly fine okay so the car is moving smoothly okay and if still there is any problem then do let me know just follow the steps which i did and you will be good to go okay just watch this video again if you didn't uh, understand how to add uh, different cars okay and now if you want to add more cars you can do that as well but i'm gonna just leave this as three okay and then what i'm gonna do with this is actually let's activate three of them and select all of them again click a empty parent for them and let's name this as player cars okay and now with the cars added in the next video we will be working on the garage system and also we will be giving an option to the player to select any car and then we will be showing that car right here on the racetrack okay so see you guys in the next one